Hello, hello you people in YouTube land. How do you do? Yes, I'm on the bus today. Heading. Yes, heading to some place to have some food. Where is the place? Well, I've gotten down from the bus. Heading that direction. You can see the signboard. It says Geelong Sarai. Yes. So I'm heading here to go to the Geelong Sarai market. The Geelong Sarai food centre. Which is over here. On the second floor here. This big, big complex. The bottom floor is all the market. They sell like uh, it's a wet market with uh, like sell food, meat, fish, food, uh, vegetables, produce and stuff. On the second floor, half of it they sell clothes, and the other half is the food center. Yes. So this here is the Gelang Serai Market. A big, big place. And we are going in here to get some food. Yep. You can climb up the stairs to fill up an appetite, but. My appetite doesn't need to be built up. So I'll be taking up the escalator. Yep. Heading that direction to the left to get some food. Something to eat. Some makan. So what shall I get? Lots and lots of stuff to choose from. Lots of Malay food. Ooh! Interesting place here. This place is called Warung Solo. And they're gonna get some noodles from here. So this is the menu. Ooh, something I haven't seen before. Laksa Sikla. So I got that. And some mee rebus. Because I do like my mee rebus. But Laksa Sikla. A dish that I have not tried before. A Laksa from Sikla? Look at that. Ooh. Just look like some kind of curry with noodles. A bit of vegetables on top with a dollop of sambal and some kind of beefy stuff on top too. Mm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Something that I have not tried before. Something that I will be trying soon. It will be in my tummy soon, but another classic favorite of mine. Me rebus. Ooh, we have one whole hot ball egg there. Ooh, some like deep fried shallots, some cut chili and some beefy stuff too and then the broth, the laksa, the mee rebus sauce oh yeah 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 but we start off with the unfamiliar item first definitely lots of vegetable there like cucumber, bean sprouts and some kind of like leafy vegetable there the leaf and oh the noodles are different man, the noodles are thick Yep. Ooh. I don't know what type of noodles are those, man. And the broth is also... Oh! Definitely looks like a curry. Curry-ish. A bit watery and a bit curry-ish. Definitely, definitely coconut milk in there. Let's just give it a try. Ah, oh, mm. definitely lighter, lighter than normal laksa, but definitely uh, coconut base. And then, yeah, man, the noodles are thick. Man. I do not know what type of noodles are those. Reminds me a bit of thick, yeah, like udon, like that. Japanese udon noodles. Let's get a mouthful with a bit of everything in it. Mmm. Okay, okay. Noodles definitely thick noodles. Then I like the crunch of the cucumber and the bean sprouts there. And the curry. Ooh, definitely a laksa like curry. A bit lighter. Definitely nice flavor. And also the leaf. The leaf there gives it a nice different purpley kind of how they call this fragrance. Yep. Definitely, definitely interesting. Different. Now let's just mix in some of the sambal. Oh yeah. Let's just try the broth. 
the laksa sauce, the laksa soup. Oh, yep. Mmm, okay. Definitely has a nice, not really spicy, but has a, adds in another layer of light, light flavor there that uh, of like a dried prawns there. That is super nice. And then the noodles. Mm. The noodle itself is a bit soft, uh, not much of a chewy texture to it, but definitely you can tell it's a thicker kind of noodles. Then the crunch of the vegetables, mm. not bad, not bad indeed. Something different, quite interesting. I wouldn't say super unfamiliar. It definitely tastes like a laksa, but slightly different. Overall, overall. Interesting, interesting indeed. But don't forget, I still have another noodle dish. Ooh, there's some lime. Let's just put some lime into the noodles. Yep. And uh, let's see. Okay. Yep. All your usual items and the yellow noodles underneath. Oh my, oh my, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look how thick the sauce is, man. The sauce is super, super thick. Look at that, oh man. The, yep, the luck, the Mirabos broth here, super thick. Oh, wow. Let's try the broth, let's try the broth, man. We have to try it. Definitely, definitely, I need to try this sauce. Oh, I do like the sauce. Nice and thick and also surprisingly a bit sweet. A bit sweeter than your normal mee rebus, But somehow, you know, oh my god, look at that, look at that, look at that. Do you see, do you see that? Do you see how the sauce, the broth, clings clings on to the noodles clings on like it's life dependent on it mm. oh yeah definitely definitely good mee rebus here i do like the mee rebus even though it is slightly a bit sweet but in a nice way in a nice way mm. and then i do also like how the sauce and the sauce clings clings on to the noodles and then let's get some of the cut chili. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mmm. Okay, definitely, definitely the cut chili does add a bit, a light nice kick of spiciness. And then the noodles, also good. Not super chewy, but enough chewiness there. But the sauce, the sauce here, clings like i said clings on to everything anything that's in the sauce clings on to it and a good transfer of flavor from sauce to mouth with all the ingredients in there wow yep 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 that is good that is very good indeed i do like it i do like it a lot yeah man look at the sauce and how thick the sauce is anyway 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 so that brings us to the end of our adventure here, having some noodles at Gelang Sarai Market, Gelang Sarai Food Centre. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I guess that's it for today. I will see you all around, guys, girls, and others too. Bye bye.